All right, I know what I'm going to do with his hand now. I'm going to have him holding a calamite pipe or a pipe, which is commonly called a peace pipe. And uh, not sure if I'm going to have a pipe bag or not because the pipe bag will be longer than the bottom of this base. So I'm just going to play it by ear. Time to play with some play. Okay, this is the armature for the uh, calamite pipe. This will be the bowl that he puts tobacco in. And this will be the mouthpiece that he, blow, you know, smokes on. And uh, I'm making it with wooden dowels. And uh, i got to have something that will hold the shape uh, even uh, when I go to casting it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this... Uh, I got these glued in and I'm just waiting for them to hard, uh, you know, to set up and then I'll uh, work on that. All right, for me to actually do his arm in hand, I've got to have the uh, pipe sculpted. And so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Okay, all I can do is start applying the clay to my wooden dowel. I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's going to be kind of boring watching me just put clay on top of the wood. I'll uh, pick this up in a few minutes. Hopefully, and uh, be right back. All right, I've got the uh, pipe positioned, but I'm not certain I like where it's at right here. I'm going to have to uh, separate the blanket a little bit so I can. reposition this uh, pipe. I'm going to have to move that arm off there. Of course it screws everything up that I just had there. And uh, I'll bring his arm up here like this. I've got to make it so it can be cast. I have to work that out a little bit. I had to cut into his arm there. <sighs> Hold on a second. Be right back. This is the top of the pipe bag. And... Uh, I'm going to have it just like that. It's tied onto his uh, pipe. Okay, now I got to sculpt the rest of the uh, pipe bag. I made a beaded opening in the uh, pipe bag. The upper edge of the uh, pipe bag is beaded. I should, probably should have done the hand first. I'm probably getting ahead of myself here. Okay, my gut's telling me I'm going to have to do that hand first. I'm just getting ahead of myself here. So I'll just cut that away. And put it back on when I get the hand to the point where I like it. I'm giving you the idea of what it's going to look like. All right. I got to do this arm and hand. And we'll go from there. 
I've got to get the robe underneath his arm finished because it's going to be hard to do it after I do the arm. I'm just uh, surrounding the uh, pipe with a, a fold of this blanket. Okay, you can see how I've got this arranged here. That's so I can work underneath the arm. My sculpting stand only goes up so far. Because the uh, arm has no armature in it, it makes it hard to uh, keep the arm from moving around while I work on it. So I'm going to put a fondue stick in just to anchor it into his body. And that'll keep it from moving. That looks pretty good. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I've got to work on that hand. I'm going to remove this thing tomorrow to work on the hand. Now i got to do the wrist and the upper part of the arm here. I just don't have time today to do that. And uh, I've also got to work on that buffalo tail. I've uh, found some good inf information on that. And then I've got to work on the inside muscles of the arm. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty satisfied how this is turning out. And I'm glad I came up with this idea. This is going to make it difficult for the mold maker, but uh, we'll have to work that out as we get there. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.